morning friends uh, i welcome you again for the second uh, section of the poem that we learned in the previous video the poem that we dealt was indian weavers written by sarojini naidu i had given you a brief detail about that poem the summary of that poem was done the uh, expressions were taught stanza wise explanation was done i taught you the theme the imagery and the various concepts that sarojini naidu has given us in this beautiful poem before i move on with the next uh, part i would like to give you the summary of the poem the poem goes about the life cycle of a man where the weavers are weaving during three parts of the day they are weaving in the morning they are weaving in the evening and they are weaving in the moonlight and they are also weaving for three different occasions they are weaving when a child is born they are weaving a marriage veil for a queen and they are weaving a dead man's shroud a very beautiful poem and i hope you all have understood that poem now in this video my dear students i am going to give you a quick idea of how to attempt the question answers given below the text now it's very important that after listening each and every video you have to attempt these questions it's very important because till then you are not get, going to get a clear cut idea whether you have understood the comprehension or no so the first question uh, that we are going to attempt now is the appreciation of the poem now this is a very important question from your exam point of view for every poem you have to write an appreciation now the question goes like the question is given on in your textbook on page number 102 write an appreciation of the poem so how to write an appreciation you are going to learn in this video now while writing the appreciation you have to write it according to the points and the sub points that will be given to you okay you don't have to write it just like an essay you have to explain it according to the points that would be given to you so the first point of appreciation my dear students is title now what do you understand about the title the, the about the poem that you have studied the title of the poem is indian weavers which indicates that the poem is about weavers and the variety of clothes that they have to weave according to the occasion and incident now you can pause this uh, video and note down the appreciation the next point after you finish about the title is about the poet now the first paragraph my dear students i would like to tell you that when you begin your uh, when the text begins a brief introduction about the writer is always given in your text read that thoroughly and this will be helpful for you to write this point the poem is written by sarojini naidu she sings original song of india and hence she is rightly called as the nightingale of india her poetry is marked with the true soul of india she is known for the clarity of thoughts now the clarity of thought means she is very clear with what point she has to come out in her writings she depicts the philosophy of life and as a poet she is humanitarian in true sense this is the second point now mo let's move on to the next point the next point in the appreciation is about the poem a general idea about the poem it is a narrative poem written in a form of question and answers the poem represents the true soul of india now again and again the same word is used because uh in sarojini naidu's poem she has she beautifully brings out the essence of true india you know she does not uh, uh you know make it difficult to understand but she creates a very beautiful picture before our eyes now as you see about the indian weavers we understand very beautifully that that is the real uh, essence of indian people even gandhi ji you know used to spin a charkha we have seen gandhi ji doing that it also depicts tradition and culture particularly importance of colors during the journey of life and its 
stages. Now we've studied in the poem that uh, in different, uh, during the different parts of our life, different colors are associated. Like a different color is associated with birth, a different color is associated with your um, youth, adulthood, marriage. And when someone dies, a different uh, color is associated. Now style. The poetess has used a very simple but sweet and rhythmical language. Now what do you understand by rhythmical language? The rhyme scheme that is used in the poem for the musical effects. Okay. Which gives the musical effects to the poem is very beautifully used by the poetess. If you can see the uh, poem, you can find the use of rhyming words in a very beautiful manner. Those rhyming words and those figure of speeches give a beautiful tone to a poem. It is written in a colloquial form. The poem is full of musical words like plumes, halcyon and feather. The rhyme scheme of the poem is AABB. There are many figures of speech used in the poem such as repetition, alliteration, metaphor and simile. Metaphor is the dominant figure of speech in this poem. Now uh, you have already studied what figures of speech are in uh, 11th standard and in the previous classes you have studied. So wherever you study a poem, it's very important that you understand and underline the figure of speech that you come across while studying a poem. You have to make a detailed study of uh, the poem while you are doing. The next point uh, in the appreciation is the special features. Now what special features are added in the poem by the poetess? Let us study that. The special features of the poem are rhythm, philosophy, symbolism, imagery. The poetess has painted the picture of Indian weavers who weave tirelessly at different times of the day. That means they are working very hard throughout the day. Different times of the day that means they are working the whole day and they are working and they are making really hard efforts to do the work or do the task that they have undertaken. This poem has been used as an imaginary to describe the three stages of human life. Now, the poet has tried to convey a different uh, message to us through this uh, poem, Indian Weavers. That means the life cycle of a man right from the birth to death. Just as the weavers weave from dawn to night. Now, the word here dawn means the morning time, the sunrise, when the sun rises. Now, there is a comparison between morning and birth death and night just as night brings an end to everything that we do all the activities of a man come to an end at night we stop doing what we are doing and we go to bed similarly death brings an end to our life whatever a man has been doing all his life to achieve to to achieve his dreams to fulfill his wishes uh, his own desire the desires of his family everything comes to stand still once the life is over so a beautiful uh, uh, symbolism is there in the poem various imageries are there you know the, the poetess has used the image of a halcyon bird then she has used the plumes of a peacock to uh, explain the uh, the marriage veil of a queen and then at the end she has used the color of the cloud and the moonlight to explain the uh, the last type of uh, cloth that they weave is the shroud of a dead man. So these are uh, wonderful imageries and you know symbolisms which are used in the poem. And yes, there's a deep message that the poet has tried to convey through this beautiful poem. It's a special feature about the poem that we have studied. Now in the end uh, comes the last point that you have to summarize in your own words. I have attempted, I have given you the entire answer here, my dear children, but the last point is your opinion. What do you understand by the poem? What What is your point of view? The poet has given her, um, her point of view. She's written that poem. Now it is on you to write the opinion about the poem. What have you understood about the poem? What are your... Uh, what is your point of view with uh, regard to the poem? Did you understand the poem? What features uh, you know, struck you the most? 
uh, what um, what you understood in a very deeper sense the line the particular line that you felt was more important you have to write down your point of view your opinion about the poem in the last paragraph so uh, just an example of what type of uh, paragraph it should be um, in my opinion my opinion means here it is your opinion the student this the person who I, who is writing the answer in my opinion this poem gives a true picture of indian culture and tradition now how how is this poem related to indian culture because uh, weaving is one of the ancient traditions uh, handloom industry that is going on in india since many many years so yes this poem gives a beautiful glimpse of our indian culture and tradition we get a real sense of india we feel the real uh, indianness through that image the poem is highly rhythmical now i already explained you what is the meaning of rhythm rhyme and rhythm uh, the words are simple and musical i really like the poem for its picturesque quality now uh, what do you mean by this uh, quality it means that uh, the poet has uh, been successful in creating the picture just before our eyes that means while we are studying we can imagine the the beautiful picture that the poet has tried to draw before our eyes so uh, my dear students uh, here we come to an end for the question how to write the appreciation of the poem now this various sub points that i have uh, used will be given to you and you have to write with the help of those points okay uh, just to recall the uh, question from um, first we have to start about the poem then comes the title style in which the poem is written special features used in the poem and your opinion about the poem now with this we come to an end of the question that how to write the appreciation this question is going to be uh, expected going to come in your exam so you have to prepare an appreciation for every poem that you are going to study from this new syllabus so the poem that has already been taught to you the previous poems uh, inchcape rock uh, as well as this poem you have to write an appreciation for all those poems now let us move on to the other questions of your textual okay now uh, this is somewhat the um, the questions that are given in below the poem i'm just going to uh, help you in attempting these question now this particular page is from uh, your textbook the page number is 101 and uh, as we read uh, the poem it will be very helpful for you to attempt these question now the first question of your text brainstorming is a1 discuss with your partner about the following vocations now what are the wo different works that uh, they have mentioned here the first one is weaving the second one is tailoring third one is knitting and fourth one the d one is embroidering now all these uh, works are associated with stitching okay with weaving uh, weaving means you make a, a cloth out of the uh, yarn or out of the thread tailoring means a fabric will be given to you and with the help of fabric you have you can make different uh, garments of your choice you can make a coat out of it you can make a dress out of it you can make uh, any different uh, types of uh, clothes with the help of the fabric given to you knitting is a special type of thing that you do with the help of yarn then embroidering is uh, done over the clothes you know with the help of colorful threads to give a beautiful look for your uh, fabric second question discuss the various products made by the weavers in the poem now what are the different uh, types of clothes that the weavers have made in the poem three stanzas they are making three different things you know that very well in the beginning first paragraph they are making a, a garment for a newborn child second they are making in the second paragraph they are making uh, a veil for queen's marriage and the last uh, paragraph they are making a dead man's shroud the next question is the words in the three stanzas of the poem mention different times of the day now complete the table now very easy actually you now you have to just read it the first one they have done for you this page is in your textbook i hope you all are sitting with your textbook while i am explaining the uh lesson to you 
now early in the morning means what word is used break of the day and what are they weaving what type of work they are doing so they in the morning the word used in the poem is break of the day the first line of your poem and they are weaving ropes for a newborn child in the second they are, they are given the second time of the day is late in the evening now what word have they used that you have to write there what are they weaving that you have to write cold night moonlight chill and what are they weaving they are weaving a dead man's shroud very easily you can attempt these question in your textbook itself because there is a space available for you to write there now the question that you don't have space you you have to write those questions in your attempt those questions in your book next question the poem reveals three phases of life uh, birth adulthood and uh, adulthood means your youth and last is old age that is death fill the blanks with the feelings and colors appropriate to the phases of life one is done for you now first blue color for a newborn child what feelings hope and expectation then adulthood what color is associated what feelings are there with that old age what color is there and what feelings are there associated with that now in youth and adulthood there's a lot of uh, energy there's a lot of enthusiasm and in old age there is sadness in the old age there is you know suffering the feeling of death is there in the old age and white color is associated with this age i am just giving you hints and helps you have to attempt it in your own words let's move on to the next question dear students question number 4 complete the sentence the weavers weave in the chill moonlight dash 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 now what are they weaving in the chill moonlight they are weaving a dead man's shroud question number 5 pick out two words used to describe the weavers in the last stanza last stanza is the last paragraph which ends the poem also state their importance also tell me what importance is there in the last stanza now the words that are used in the last stanzas are solemn and still means the weavers are in a solemn state they are in a uh, still state they are not moving at all why they are not moving at all because uh, solemn here means dignified solemn means dignified a state where they are very dignified and still means where there is no movement at all where they are silent so these are the words and why why it is important that you have to write in your own stanzas next is express your views about the present condition of weavers okay now my dear children uh, this is something uh, that uh, you have to um, visualize and you have to think about it nowadays people uh, because of the industrialization there are many industries uh, have come up with uh, making these fabrics and with making the clothes so these handloom industry these small scale industries somewhere have been have taken a back stage they have uh, they have gone back a bit because most of the people prefer factory made clothes and these handmade clothes or these uh, weavers have um, people prefer going for the uh, fabric which is a designer which is printed and you know which is a bit modern and because of that this uh, industry this uh, weaving industry has gone uh, has taken a bit back uh, stage so people this is the condition of the weavers right now in india okay and because there is not much demand these fabrics these handmade fabrics uh, are a bit expensive like silk cloth etc etc made by them so next question you can write you can add in your own ideas as well your ideas are more welcome uh, describe in your own words the steps or measures that can be taken to solve the problem of the weavers now firstly you have to understand what problems these weavers are facing and then you have to suggest some uh, some way out or some remedies or some suggestion that the government we can put forward and the government should do to help the problem of these weavers okay this is absolutely it should be in your own words next question again another activity for you express your own views and opinions about the weavers point of view complete the following table now what uh, are they saying in the first stanza 
a very beautiful poem a very short and sweet poem by sarojini naidu three paragraphs with three different meanings the first paragraph they are weaving ropes for a newborn child now while weaving the garment for a newborn child how are they they are happy they are gay they are feeling rejo- they are rejoicing they are happy now here you have to write happy first uh, the opinion they are happy they are feeling fresh they are feeling hopeful now they here stands for the weavers because they are very happy for the newborn child in the second stanza they are weaving a veil for the marriage for a queen now what are what are what would be the feelings there yes even there the feelings would be happy because a new beginning marriage means a new beginning of life two individuals start a new journey with lot of hopes lot of aspirations so yes even the viewers there are happy just as they are happy in the first stanza the third stanza here is um, what activity are the viewers doing in the third stanza they are weaving the rope of a dead man's shroud i already explained to you dear children what is the meaning of a shroud shroud is the wrap that is used to wrap a dead man now what are the feelings of the viewers in that a uh, stanza how would they feel of course they are sad they are uh, they are upset they are feeling rejected because they are because this rope would be used for a sad purpose in someone's life now the rhyming words are used in this poem very beautifully you can come across very various words like day gay wild child night bright so all those rhyming words you can write it down in your notebook now the next uh, vocabulary item that is there for you is when you study this poem you have to understand the new words the new concepts that you come across in the poem and you have to write it down in your uh, notebook so that you can use it when you attempt other questions is very helpful for you because when you improve your language when you write writing skills new words should come to your mind okay and uh, that is there the purpose of these questions and the purpose of these vocabulary items are there now uh, they have asked you for the antonyms antonyms means opposite words you have to write a sentence with that word then you have to write a synonym synonym means the words which have similar meaning so i will do one for you you have to attempt the remaining ones now what is the opposite of new of course old and the uh, synonym for that is advanced the antonym for bright would be dull so you have to make a sentence with the word dull so the remaining ones you have to do attempt these questions in your notebook the next one make a word register for clothes attire and dress now the poem has different figures of speech very beautifully used by the poets now from the poem you have to find out these figures of speech the first one is simile now simile means a direct comparison made between two uh, different objects comparison that also a direct comparison and the word used here is like and as the one example i would give you that he was like a lion in the war now the word like is here and the two people are compared the person is compared to the lion with using word like then another po- uh, figure of speech used here is imagery metaphor alliteration alliteration is the most simplest one for you to uh, find out the next question th- that are given below is the rhyme scheme in the first stanza is a a b b find the rhyme schemes of the other stanzas the second stanzas and the third stanzas the poet has asked a question at the beginning of every stanza explain the effect it creates on the reader now uh, the poem is in a uh, question answer form the poet has posed a question in every stanza every stanza begins with a question and the viewers are answering the questions put forward by the poet so what effect has it created on your mind you have to write it down it's a personal response type question appreciation of the poem we have already done in the beginning of this session compose four lines on importance of clothes now you have to write four lines which shows the importance of clothes for you 
uh, write an appeal to use handloom products in our daily life now uh, we have dealt with all the questions my dear children and we have come to the end of uh, the question answers of this um, poem that we have done dealt and uh, before i end this session i would like to tell you my dear children whatever we have learned so far in this e learning series it's very important that you make a separate notebook for each subject and start attempting the questions that we are giving you the assignments that we are giving you and i hope it is helpful for you you are making the best use of what the college is providing you and uh, assignments are also my dear children equally important thank you and god bless you.